The passage implies that during the day, before a night on which a male nightingale's song rate is high, that nightingale probably does which of the following? So let's start here with A, expends less of its reserves on thermoregulation than on other days. Well, when it talks about thermoregulation, it's only talking about what the bird is doing at night. And the question here, number 10, is focused on what the bird does during the daytime as far as the day following the night it plans to sing. So we're not dealing here with the night. B, stores more energy as body reserves than in other days. So if we look here at line 14, it says that Thomas found that nightingales reached a significantly higher body mass at dusk and lost more mass overnight on nights when their song rate was high. So you can see that during the day, they have a lot of energy build up in body reserves. So B definitely matches up. C, hides to avoid predators. It mentions that the bird here on, this is line number three, that singing may also advertise in an individual's location, arrivals, or predators. But does this mean, oh, they're during the, the day before a nightingale plans to sing, that it's avoiding predators? No, this doesn't relate. And it, even in, you can actually look down here, it says that, uh, line 20, it says here that nightingales, or the strategic regulation of evening body reserves is also likely to incur additional costs, as nightingales must spend more time foraging in order to build up large body reserves. So you can see that they're more likely to be attacked. So they're definitely not avoiding, I think that was line 20, they're definitely not avoiding predators. So the only answer is B.